Hi friends, we have just entered into the second training session after completion of the first training session. In the first training session, I have explained five core concepts. That conceptual knowledge is an essential prerequisite to implement programs. That point you have to understand. Without conceptual background, if you come for programs, you may implement programs, but you never have command over that. That's why don't ignore first training session. There are just five concepts. You study them thoroughly and understand, you never get any doubt. I am very sure about that. Before implementing programs, we must know something. That is, understanding compiler and its functionality. Because using compiler only, we can perform programs. For every language, there is a separate compiler. That is C compiler, C++ compiler, Java compiler, Python compiler. Like that, for every every language, a separate compiler is there. And uh, if you have to work on particular language, first uh, you have to install that compiler. Now, what is compiler? We have to understand. I don't explain technically. And now I explain in a in general aspect, that's why I am able to explain it uh, very precisely. Within 10 minutes, I can explain. But this knowledge is very essential for you. Otherwise, your uh, journey will be like a blind man's walk. That's fine to have to understand. Okay. Before explaining about compiler, uh, I will give you an analogy, an example. I know only English. You know only Hindi. Okay. You came here to learn uh, programming from me. I can explain only in English, that you cannot understand. You can speak only in Hindi, that I cannot understand. Then, what is the way out? Just think. If you think there is a way out, what is that? We have to appoint a translator. What are the qualities of a translator? You must know both English and Hindi. So, whatever I speak, he explains, he translates and explains to Hindi. Whatever you ask, he translates back uh, from Hindi to English. So, that is the way. That is the only way. Then only I can teach and you can get benefit of the, out of that. But one drawback is also there. What is the drawback? Suppose one concept, I can, a set of concepts I can, I can explain within one hour, 60 minutes. Because of this translation process, it may take two hours also. Again, first I have to first I have to explain. Thereafter, you have to translate. You may ask questions. All that you know, I need not explain. Because of translation process, some inefficiency there. Because inefficiency means it takes more time. So, the translator is like a compiler. First, I understand that generally. Now, technically, I explain. Computer's language is binary. Binary binary means binary represents two elements. So. What are the two? One and zero. Actually, you take English. English consists of 26 uh, letters. Any Indian language, you take 50 plus letters are there. But as far as binary is concerned, uh, computer's language, one and zero, only two are there. Then uh, you imagine how it is possible to express, or to develop uh, words and all that. For that also, for everything, one model is there. Suppose, character A is there, character A is there, how it is represented, 1, 5, 0, 1. Suppose, lowercase a is there, how it is represented, 11, 4, 0, 1. Suppose, 9 is there, a digit, how it is represented, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Like this is a present. One more also I explain. Art symbol is there every time you use art symbol. How it is represented? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Like that, whatever character you find on a keyboard, keyboard, for every character, one uh, unique binary code is there. Unique binary code is there. For every character, whatever you see, whatever you use on the keyboard, and uh, many other instructions also there, like add, subtract, division, for that also, Corresponding codes are there. Everything is unique. Now we see all these are distinct. 
for every character every symbol a distinct binary this is called binary code so if you type a if you type a how it is informed communicated to a computer one it is translated and informed like this suppose i speak in english book what translated as e translates in kitab then you can understand suppose you have read kitab then he translate back into book and uh, communicate to me that is a mechanism simple mechanism in a general way technically if i have to explain it take lot of time that's why this is not the place that's why i am explaining it uh, generally actually now one more challenge is there suppose computer's language is binary binary now if you have to learn a computer language how you have to learn you have to learn like this only for every letter for every instruction you have to find the binary code is it possible is it possible means you may commit mistakes for everything you have to refer because one one digit is different it represent different instead of a it may represent p instead of 9 it may represent 1 it happens that's why if it is the only way to learn programming languages only ones and zeros no student is interested that is called low level language students are interested that's why these programming languages are developed in programming languages actually english like words only we use english like words already you know that certain things and all that english uh, like words symbols suppose we have to add we use plus only if we have to minus we use minus only division this symbol so for all of them corresponding binary code is developed developed so that's why we are able to understand learn programming language and implement if it is in binary code we can almost 99.9 percent sure never learn it so uh, that's why many programming languages are developed then what happens now already talked about uh, translator here what is required for every programming language one translator software is required a software it must understand that translator software is required it is one of the system software this is called compiler so if you have to work on c language c compiler you have to install if you want to work on java language java compiler you have to install but here we are really blessed by one way actually i am introducing you gdb online compiler gd it is online compiler gdb online compiler in next video i tell you how to install it and use simple thing it is highly user friendly compiler and the great advantage is it supports 20 plus popular languages 20 plus suppose if you install c compiler only c language you can implement c language programs if you install java program java compiler only java programs you implement but if you start using gdb online compiler what is the what is the advantage any 20 plus popular language will support any language you can use and uh, back and forth you can whatever language suppose in c language you develop a program and uh, immediately after that you want to go for java you can uh, you can uh, uh, move into that java to python python to c c to Pi, uh, java like that and one more advantage here i am providing you web series for three languages if you are interested to learn three simultaneously or separately actually you can very easily work and whatever the program you developed in c if you want to transform into python you can do that you can save more than 50% time if you want to convert any python program into java you can do it very easily same platform you need not go here and there you need not install uh, uh, different compilers and one compiler jana but only one limitation is you must have internet connection if you don't have internet connection you cannot do that okay in this manner just to you understand the what is compiler without knowing that uh, don't move to the uh, program and one more thing i have to tell you if you want to learn uh, the functionality of a compiler technically technically also i i am providing you in description box i am providing you the functionality of a compiler uh, technically all that i am providing links actually java procedure is somewhat different that compiler and interpreter two things are there that is different all that whatever you want to learn more all that i am providing you in description section description box every time whenever you watch a lecture 
just to go to a description box, what information is available? You make a set. If you are a lazy person or a smart person and all that, I cannot help. If you want to learn, just a matter of 10-15 minutes. If you spend, you can enrich your knowledge, not just to learning generally. You can learn it technically, then it gives a great uh, power of knowledge.